this is Rebecca from Chemnitz and I'm here with AllFreeKnitting.com to talk to you today about dyeing yarn with Quillade. When we do this tutorial today we're going to be using one packet of sugar-free Kool-Aid and this happens to be a tropical punch flavor so we should get a pink or red color and we are also using some undyed 100% wool that is in fingering weight and I've used this chair to wrap it into a skein and so to help prevent the yarn from getting tangled I am going to lightly tie the ends of the yarn around the, um, the skein like so but I don't want to pull tight because we don't want to end up with white marks um, where the ties are Whoops. but these uh, ties should help um, hold the skein in place and we are ready to start the dyeing process. Before we begin the dyeing process we want to pre-soak the yarn in this glass there is just plain tap water. While the yarn is soaking we can start setting up our dye bath. In this standard kitchen pot I have added two cups of water and I'm going to empty the contents of our Kool-Aid packet into that water. I'll show you we're getting it's a nice bright cherry red color. And using you know any kind of or just going to stir this up to mix up the dye bath. Now one of the fun things about dyeing yarn with Kool-Aid is that it also smells really good. So I'm going to turn the stove on at a low and put it to a low heat because I want the dye bath to simmer. As we're waiting for this to heat up, it's worth mentioning that the components that we need in order to dye yarn with Kool-Aid are acid, which we get in the form of, I don't guess you can't see it, of citric acid, which is one of the ingre main ingredients of the Kool-Aid mix. The second component is heat, which we get from the stove. And then the third component is wool, which we have soaking in water right back here. Now this process you can do with some wool acrylic blends but you need to have some kind of animal fiber in order for this method of dyeing to work. Alright so the dye bath is now slightly simmering so I am going to take the yarn out from where it was drying gently squeeze out a little of the water but that's not super crucial and dip it into the dye bath. Now one thing you want to be careful of is since you're dyeing hundred percent wool you do not, I repeat, you do not want to stir the pot because if you stir the pot too much or really at all you risk felting your yarn and then not being able to use it. Instead if you want to check the progress you can pull the yarn out gently and then put it back in. Another thing I guess I'll mention since you can see I'm wearing gloves. I've dyed yarn with Kool-Aid enough times that I have accidentally also turned my fingers red so sometimes it is handy to protect your fingers. And I will come back in a little bit and we'll check on the progress of our yarn. So the yarn has been simmering in the dye bath for a while and as you might see the dye bath has lightened considerably and most of the dye has absorbed to the yarn which is becoming this really deep let's see if I can grab it, deep cherry red. Now we don't really want to shock the yarn so I'm going to turn off the heat and even though the dye bath is still hot I'm going to leave it here to cool until I can handle the yarn comfortably and that's when we will wash it. And while we're waiting for the yarn to cool, I want to mention that kitchen safety is important when you're dealing with dyeing yarn, and you should never leave the dye bath unattended. All right, so the yarn has now cooled to a point where I can handle it comfortably. As you see, I'll stick my hand straight in the dye bath. And the water may have cleared a little bit more from when we were using it before. Now I'm gonna take, carefully take my yarn over to the sink where I have a bath of lukewarm water running. 
and I'm going to stick the yarn into this bag with a little bit of dish soap to help um, clean it off. And as you notice, this bright red yarn is sitting in this water, and the water is taking no none of the pink color at all. So this means that the, um, the dye has done a very good job of adhering to the yarn, and that we are not likely to stain anything by using this yarn. Occasionally, when you have too much dye in your dye bath, you will see some color coming out of the yarn. Don't be alarmed, this is perfectly normal. And just keep, wash the yarn with a tiny bit of soap and water until the rinse water that you're rinsing it in runs clean and you have completely rinsed out the soap. And voila, here is our bright red yarn hanging to dry. You can see I'm not even afraid to touch it with my hands because I'm not going to get any color on them. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to dye yarn with Kool-Aid. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and this video has been brought to you by my friends at allfreeknitting.com.